a very fun storyline here, Kyle, we can, yes. we can move on to. Um, there were rumblings when we were going to record yesterday, uh, initially, that there were some rumblings before this announcement was made that there was going to be an, a re- an entry for the Indy 500 for this upcoming season, uh, an entry related to an all-women fe- all or women crew or a female driver or, or something along those lines for the Indy 500. But it is now seems to be official uh, that we are going to be having a female in the Indy 500, hopefully if they can qualify for the race. As uh, Beth Peretta has partnered with Porsche driver Simona Di Silvestro to attempt to qualify for the Indy 500 with Peretta Autosport. So Peretta was previously tried for an all-female team back in the 100th edition of this race. It didn't come, didn't come to fruition. And uh, this effort was part of the Race for Equality and Change. This team will also receive technical assistance from Team Penske. So I, can, I can't think of much better than you can get the uh, technical assistance from Team Penske for the Indy 500. Um, very, very cool storyline here, Kyle. Um, Simona Di Silvestro, Porsche driver, Swiss Porsche driver, is going to be coming over and making her IndyCar debut. A very well-known female uh, driver over there in Europe. So I'm very, very excited to see how she does in her inaugural IndyCar attempt here for the Indy 500. Not her first IndyCar it is uh, it? foray, actually. No, she, she spent a few seasons in IndyCar uh, at the beginning of the, the 2010s, and she's actually run in a handful of Indy 500s as well, one of those being for Andretti back in 2015. But uh, this is a very, very fun one here. Uh, Simona Del Silvestro, uh, she, she's done a lot of different stuff. She's run in V8 supercar. She's done champ car. She's done IndyCar. She's done a lot of different stuff. Uh, she's done some IMSA stuff as well. So she's got quite the diverse background. Um, and she's had some decent results when she's been in IndyCar as well. Uh, uh, second place uh, is the best she's ever done. She's got a handful of top fives, um, but she hasn't really had a great Indy 500 uh, run yet. She's had a couple of crashes. The best result was her debut, finishing 14th back in 2010. So hopefully she could break through here in what seems to be a very, very good entry here. You've got Team Penske involved. Uh, it's going to be female-led. We don't know how much of that will, will be based. Uh, we know it's female ownership there. We know it's going to be female driver. We don't know how much of the crew and everything uh, will be female, but hopefully a significant portion of it because that would be awesome, awesome, awesome to see with this diversity push from uh, IndyCar as a whole, um, which is going to be great to see. But yeah, I'm very excited to see this team on track. Uh, Di Savastro uh, has a strong background. She's had some strong results. And uh, it looks like we're going to have a very, very fun Indy 500 on our hands with some very interesting uh, additions to the lineup. It's an all-star lineup. That's for sure what we've got on hand for right now for the okay. Indy 500. I'm very, very excited. 2021, man. It is just going to be an insane year of motorsports. I don't know if I can drive that point home enough because, I mean, the Fox promo basically said it. this could be the best season ever. And that may just be the motorsports season across the board because IndyCar is shaping up to be excellent. Formula One with a lot of driver moves is going to be excellent. NASCAR with the newly revamped schedule. And a couple of driver movement as well. We got some exciting stuff there. It's just going to be incredible, hopefully. Um, I'm very, very pumped. And this drive for diversity and and drive for equality that Penske is really trying to uh, push forward over there in IndyCar is a great thing to see. And, you know, for for NASCAR, it does, you know, they have female drivers in their system, so they may not have to push that as hard as something like IndyCar where they haven't had a female representative uh, over there for quite some time. Danica Patrick, most most namely as the big one over there on the IndyCar side of things. But uh, very, very excited to see a female driver attempt to make the Indy 500. I hope she makes it. I hope that interest entry does very well. I hope they finish the race if they are able to make it as well. It, it is just a great opportunity for them to get their name out there and uh, try and go for an Indy 500 trophy. Why not? You know, what, what, what's there to say that a woman can't go out there and, and win the Indy 500, the biggest race basically in all the motorsports. So very, very excited to see how Simona Di Silvestro and that Beth Peretta partnership uh, pans out for the uh, Indy 500 this upcoming season. So do you have any final thoughts on the IndyCar side of things before we move into Formula One? 
Yeah, no, it, it's just a fantastic, fantastic move. Um, w- w- there's like a, a group of like four or five different female drivers that are always kind of in the conversation for these rides. Um, and, and Simona Di Silvestro is one that I had kind of forgotten about a little bit. So it's great to see her get this opportunity, get some more uh, international flair to the Indy 500 as well, of course. The driver coming from Switzerland, she's done racing all over the world. She's done Formula E, she's done IMSA, she's done V8 Supercar. She's done a little bit of everything. So it was great to get another diverse driver and a female on, on the grid for the Indy 500. 